Hey guys, it's Katie here and I am here to talk today about updating your Night Scout site. So if you ever hear you need to update your Night Scout site, there's two parts to this. One, you have to update your code in GitHub. Number two, you then have to deploy that new updated code in your Heroku account. So two parts, GitHub and then Heroku. So let's start with GitHub. You're gonna log into your GitHub account and you're gonna find your CGM remote monitor. The easiest way to do this is up at the URL, log into GitHub, and then your name, your account name, mine is KD Simone, slash CGM-remote-monitor. So that will take you there. You might have a list of it. You could look in your list of repositories in your account, click on it there. But regardless, you wanna make sure you have your account name up in the URL and not Night Scouts. If you have this showing up there where you have Night Scout in the URL, that's not the one you want to be working in. So make sure it has your name in that URL or your account name. Okay, so I can tell that my version of Night Scout code, CGM Remote Monitor, is that I can tell my Night Scout code is old because it's 753 commits old. So it tells you that right there. So I know I need to update this in order to update my Night Scout site. There's two ways you can update the code. You can do a compare here, or you can simply delete your old fork and start fresh. I highly recommend for most people that you just plain delete it and start fresh. Unless you have some code customizations saved, which most of you won't, and if you did, you'd probably know how to do this. We're gonna go ahead and just nuke it. So if it says this, I'm gonna show you why you probably just wanna nuke it. Is a lot of people get stuck on doing this the old way. They'll go to compare and then they'll say, oh, you need to change these around, compare across forks. So, we changed them around because as you can see this little teeny tiny arrow here, you want Night Scout's new code to be fed into yours. And a lot of people will get a can't automatically merge, don't worry. If you get that, that's a problem. Or you get these reversed. So let's just sidestep all of this confusion and do the really easy way. Here's the really easy way to update your code. Click on settings for your CGM remote monitor, go all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna go into the danger zone. Woo, this is so exciting. We're gonna click on delete this repository. So what you're gonna do is it says, are you sure unexpected bad things will happen? Go ahead and do it. You're living on the edge. Go ahead and type your account name and CGM-remote monitor and say, yes, I understand these consequences, delete it. It's all fine, you haven't broken your site, don't worry. Then go up to the top and search for Night Scout, CGM, Remote Monitor. You can search all of GitHub. If it doesn't come up automatically, if you just search Night Scout, you'll find it. Click on that. And once you click on that, you'll see that you're at the URL for Night Scout CGM Remote Monitor. Cool, this is exactly where you wanna be. Click Fork. It'll say it's forking, only take a few minutes. And what you've basically done is instead of going through all of the updating, you just said, forget it, I'm just gonna grab a brand new one. And as soon as you grab a brand new one, it is always exactly up to date. So good idea, quick, easy sidestep is to just delete your old fork, get a new one. So settings, scroll down, get a new one. And look, you can see here, it's even with Night Scout Master, that means it's all up to date. So the next thing you wanna do is now that you've updated your code in GitHub, now you go over to your Heroku account. So log into your Heroku account, click on your app name, click on deploy. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit now. I'm gonna switch these around just so uh, my little bottom window is not showing. And you're gonna go and you're gonna make sure that you're connected. It's possible that you aren't connected. Some people aren't. I'm just gonna disconnect so you guys can see it. If you aren't connected, if this has a bunch of other stuff showing here, go ahead and click on the GitHub icon and you're gonna connect to your GitHub 
account. It'll have you lock it, log in. It'll say, actually here, let me show you what it does. I will go here and I will take that out. I will say revoke access, revoke access. Um, so now I can go back to my account and you'll see what it looks like. If yours looks like this, no big deal. Click on GitHub, say connect to GitHub. And because I'm still signed in on my computer elsewhere, it knows I'm signed in, that's cool. I'm gonna type cgm-remote monitor. I'm gonna search, it's searching my GitHub, it found it, I'm connecting to it. That's great, it's connected. It's figuring out all the branches I have, everything that's going on. And it's going to very shortly populate the bottom part here. Okay, so it connected. And now that it's connected, we see uh, these sections with deploy buttons down here. And so we know that we updated our code and we're going to deploy our new code by choosing our branch down here as master. We're gonna deploy. And what this is doing is it's taking our updated code from GitHub, because we're connected now to that, and it's gonna deploy it. And if you scroll down, you'll see the process of the build scrolling by in here. It takes about five minutes, and when it's done, you'll see these little green check marks all along the bottom, and at the bottom, it'll say view app, and then you're all updated. So I'm gonna pause it right here. We'll let it finish building, and then we'll confirm that it's all updated. All right, so we are all good on the right-hand side. It is all green check marks. It has been deployed successfully. We can now view it if we click view. We can see that this is all there. We can double check um, that our settings at the bottom, you can see the version, version 0.12.3. That is the newest release. We are all good. It is updated, that's a good check. So we're happy with that. The one last thing is specific for loopers that are moving from Omnipod testing or some other older versions that want to use overrides in the new dev branch or anything that's going to be based on the new dev branch going forward. You will want to go to your settings in Heroku, reveal config vars, go on down to your enable line click on the little purple pencil and make sure you have the word override in there. That will be important because then if you set an override in a loop, it will appear as a separate pill and let you know that there's an override active. Don't worry, these blood sugars are from random internet. The person is fine, I'm sure. Um, so uh, yeah, we're good. You're all set. You updated your GitHub, you update and deploy you update that deployed, deployed that updated code and put in override in your settings so you're all up to date where you need to be. All right, thanks for playing along. See ya.